Okay, in this video I'm going to go over how to take a screenshot using a free download, uh, online download, called GreenShot itself. You can see how it's spelled G-R-E-E-N-S-H-O-T. So when you do your search and you see the GreenShot, uh, it will take you to a page that looks something like this. And um, you can see that it has this little icon of sideways G with neon green. And go ahead and just hit the download and it goes automatically onto your computer. Now a lot of computers already have built-in software to take uh, specific uh, screenshots, okay? So you don't have to use GreenShot itself, but it, it, all of them are very, very similar, and I like GreenShot because there's a lot more that you can do with it. Okay, so once you've gone ahead, went ahead and downloaded GreenShot, it'll appear on your desktop or in your tray. You can see down here in my lower right-hand corner, I have a little icon that's similar to this that says GreenShot has been downloaded. Now, uh, what can we use a screenshot for? Um, screenshots are for when you want to take a portion of a particular screen and not the whole screen itself, right? So something very, very specific. And so they can be used for a lot of things. It can be used for like, you know, book reports, uh, PowerPoints, that sort of thing. Now, let's say you're doing a report on the Grand Canyon. So I went ahead and typed in Grand Canyon. I went to images and I saw all these images that I liked. Uh, and let's say specifically I wanted to use this this image here. So I click on it and notice that it, it's, it still is right there. I can take green shot. I'll go down there and click on green shot. And it gives me this menu of options here. Okay, all the way from capture a region, capture this last region, capture the entire window, so the full screen, et cetera, et cetera. I can put things directly to an image editor like Picasa or Flickr. Um, I can go to my chain to my preferences and change my preferences about where, for example, this image is going to download to on my desktop or in a file or whatever. I usually just go right to the where it says capture, and I click on it. And as soon as you do there, you, you'll see these this uh, circle with these uh, with a cross in the middle, crosshairs. Now most screen capture software works exactly the same way. And the thing again I like about Picasa is that it helps me see exactly how much of this image I am going to capture. You'll notice in the crosshairs like I am right there at the very very corner of this image with no black surrounding it, right? Once I've decided where I want to capture, I'm going to click on my computer. Just hit the click and notice that I am capturing the region that I want, and again, looking at my crosshairs, I can see that I have, don't have any black, but just the image itself. And then you just release, and then you want to save it directly to wherever you want to save it to. So you want to save it directly to your output settings, which is, for me, the my laptop, to a clipboard, do I want to put it into a PowerPoint, into a Word document, et cetera, et cetera. And that's how you, cap, that's how you use uh, a screen capture. Okay, it's very... Uh, very uh, helpful, like I said, in terms of writing reports and visualizing what you're talking about. Okay, I hope that was helpful.